Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as Ethiopia. So, we are still at war with Alexander, and we can easily take at least one more decent city. And that's what we're going to do. I could also spread my religion a little bit more. I got almost 3000 faith. Yeah, let's just grab an Inquisitor maybe, to convert my own cities back first. Yep, that makes sense. And then we can grab an Apostle still. We are finishing some wonders, mostly the Eiffel Tower at the moment. And some more flood barriers, because some tiles were about to get flooded. And we don't want that, do we? No. Yeah, let's grab a seaport, that will definitely come in handy. And now we are waiting for Liang to arrive here. Then I can get a few fisheries to help that city out. So, back to Alexander. Let's see how much damage we can do. First, let's get rid of his unit. Who can finish it off? Our field cannon can finish it off. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And since I have expert crew, we can attack after moving. Yeah, I think I can take it on the next turn. That will be easy enough. I did fight by a builder here, because we need a few improvements in the area, as well as some repairs. And this guy is down to two uses only. Now, I'll try to make this city at least semi-decent, but it's not going to be very good in the long run. That's just not happening. But hey, we got it for free, so no big loss. Right, there's the Inquisitor, let's convert our own cities first. And we can grab an Apostle. As for our spy, let's see, I picked up demolitions on him, which means he can sabotage production with a 90%. Let's go for that. This is his capital, that's Germany. So sabotaging production in there might be a good idea. And Germany is actually doing surprisingly well. He's only one technology behind me. No, he actually has 50 right now. And his science output is basically... Roughly the same as mine, only 10 signs per turn lower. So he is doing surprisingly well. I mean, it is a pretty strong sieve, especially Hansa. So it's not super surprising that he's doing well. My Inquisitor was destroyed by a Persian Apostle, right. We unlocked infantry, nice. But yeah, I need to do something about all these Apostles. First, let's assign the spy again to counter spy. And I'm going to buy a bunch of inquisitors, I think. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And defend ourselves, I guess. Sure. So, what's happening? We got a promotion, a nice one. I'll take emplacement. And let's see if we can take the city now or. Maybe we have to wait one more turn. Yeah, we can take it right now. I don't even have to use the other artillery. I can just pick up the promotion. Okay, let's do it then. So that gives me yet another encampment. That is definitely useful. Very nice positioning as well. So first we'll repair the monument. And repair outer defenses. Actually, loyalty here is fine. Let's repair outer defenses first. And I can either stay at war or I can peace out. I have options. It's not like he can really threaten me at this point. He most certainly cannot. Obviously keep the city. That was kind of the point. He will probably get wiped out, but I don't want to be the one who will wipe him out. How's the city doing? Yeah, it could use some more growth, but it doesn't have that much food to begin with. Sewer, one turn. Yeah, I don't need that right now. Semi in this city, it's at 12 population. I need to get 13, so let's switch it to food. And I think we can grab archaeological museum. I see several antiquity sites just in this area alone. And I think I only had one archaeological museum so far weapons. Okay then. Oh yeah, and we can use the biplane. 
I probably should have killed the other field cannon. I might get more biplanes as well. We'll see about that. Still waiting for Liang to finish the move. Not much else needed over here. 35 gold from the camp. Our gold situation is quite good. And I will be getting more trade outs soon. We are at 6 out of 8 at the moment. Because I just finished uh, two lighthouses, I think. Yeah, let's just queue it up in here. That won't take very long. I could fight by a trader, but there's just no need to do that. It's only two turns. Not really a big deal. Here. So, let's use the Inquisitors, shall we? I'm not sure if I can kill all of the Apostles here. But, I mean, I can try. Let's just buy more. Yeah, another Apostle and in here. And an Inquisitor. If we get the right promotion on an Apostle, he could be really good at defending. And at theological combat in general. Right, back to Alexander. We can still do some damage. You are actually in range. Oh no, in range of the incumbent. Yeah, sure, let's maybe attack that. I can always get some experience by attacking that. And I don't want it attacking my city or my units in that area. So definitely a good idea to get rid of it. Now, I'm not sure how religious pressure is going to be over here. Uh, no, it will be fine. Okay, we'll convert all that. Because the more I convert, the more gold I will be making, because we don't have tithe. That's plus some gold for every four followers of our religion. I should probably send this builder elsewhere. <laughs> what can we actually get around here that's useful? That deer is in range, but it's not actually inside my borders. I don't need that many improvements. I suppose this tile needs to be improved. Okay, sure. Not much else to see around here. We got rid of the barbarian camp. And let's finish off that unit over there. And that's also plus one error score because that was a core. He is screwed. He's actually losing loyalty now. And these are his last two cities. He doesn't have anything else. Engineer. Triggers Eureka moment for rocketry technology. Plus 20% production towards space race projects. Did we boost rocketry or not? Let's find out. Yes. That might still be worth it for the plus 20%. I don't think it stacks, although I might be mistaken. I'm getting 58 great engineer points per turn. I think I'm going to grab him. Even if it doesn't stack. Plus 20% production towards space race projects is nice. And I haven't finished any space race projects yet. I mean, I don't even have rocketry yet. We'll get some more amenities here. Okay, do we still need another trader? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I got two traders queued up. What do we even get in here? I might just get another unit or two. Can't go wrong with more units. Especially ones that do not require strategic resources. Also, we will unlock armies on the next turn. Which means I'll need a bunch of extra units. I can actually fight by units now. Which I might or might not want to do. This city needs more food. It's not doing great. I can't really get food right now. I might have to get some tiles back. Yeah, I have to swap some tiles around. Well, let's get this one. There we go. I still want 13 population in here, but I think that will have to wait. Let's get the zoo to get some more amenities. And I do not actually want food focus, but this will not change any yields because we are working all the same exact tiles. Convert. Okay. I might have to actually send like a missionary or something here. But that's alright. So I could actually take the coastal city if I wanted to. 
Not really sure if it's worth it. Probably not, but I don't know, maybe. My amenities are fine, and more cities are never a bad thing. I might just do it, because we don't have anything better to do anyway. I could invade Germany if I wanted to, because Germany is actually still doing really well, as you saw. He has, yeah, 281 signs per turn. I might actually have to go there with a friendly neighborhood visit. Perhaps. We shall see. Anyway. There's the other Inquisitor. Oh, he's actually, like, out of range. Okay, that's fine. There's the spy again. I think we killed an enemy spy. Yup. Okay, we can take down one Apostle, so at least there's that. And I can keep spamming Inquisitors, but I don't want to go overboard, if it's not necessary. I suppose we could get an Apostle. Maybe, but that's 550 faith. Let's just get an Inquisitor, that's much, much cheaper. There's the Engineer, let's just pop him right away. And there we go, we can get some fisheries. So how about we fight by a unit? What do we want the most? I would say artillery. Yes, certainly. 860 fight. That is a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. That way we'll get two artillery armies, literally on the next turn. And that is quite a lot of extra firepower. Some tiles are about to get flooded, but I got flood barriers in the most of the cities that needed them. Chemistry is the dirty and we finished chemistry, so now we can get a crow as well as a mountain tunnel. I do actually need a mountain tunnel from here in particular. I don't think we have... Wait, no, we do have a military engineer somewhere, right? Uh, where the heck was he? There's an archaeologist. Yeah, we got quite a few antiquity sites. I might even want a third archaeological museum. And we got a great person, an admiral. Do I really want that? Instantly creates a battleship with one promotion level, grants one call per turn. I think I might pass on him and try to get the admiral that gives you two technologies for free. I think he comes, like, a bit after this guy. I don't remember what era exactly he was in. Another governor title. I might actually pick up Amani and send her like to Auckland or so. Uh, hold on, we lost one city-state, right? Because we had four. Was it Babylon? Looks like it. No, it was Rapanui, and there are 11 in here now. I could, however, get Babylon. I mean, I got 14 envoys. We might as well, right? Yeah, okay, sure, let's just do that. That's always a little bit of extra science. Not a huge amount, but always better than nothing. Let's get Amani, then. It's only one governor title to get her. And I'll send her to Auckland, because I really want to keep that city. It's just too good for all the bonus production we get from it. Next up, rocketry. And we can get started on the spaceport. I would go for a culture victory, but I'm way too far behind in culture. I would need, like, a lot more theater squares. Don't get me wrong, it would still be doable, but it would take much longer than just building the spaceship. Right, we got one slot we can use. I am keeping force modernization because we will still need that. I don't think we need any loyalty policies. We should be fine on loyalty. It might not be fine once we enter the next era, but I actually think it will be okay. So what the heck do we want? I could pick up some extra housing, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, I might just go for Medina Quarter. Or we can pick up rationalism, because Germany is a little bit too close for my taste. Yeah, let's boost our science a bit. How much is that going to be worth? Oh yeah, that was like 42 science. That was definitely worth it. 
Okay, now. Where's that military engineer? Because I had a military engineer somewhere. Let's find him. Right here. Okay, he's sleeping. The bastard. We can get a tunnel like here or here. Yeah, that works. Not sure why this one is not highlighted, but that's a valid location for a tunnel. Can also have a tunnel here. Well, point is, I only need one. I might also build a railroad too. We should definitely have a railroad leading into the tunnel. So now we can actually merge the artillery. Here, that's one army. The other one will have to wait one extra turn. I will technically be losing oil right now, but don't worry, it's fine. How far away are we from plastics? Because I really need plastics. Let's get rocketry and then we'll get plastics. I need to get started on the spaceport sometime soon. I don't want to wait too long. So... Let's see. I can heal these guys on top of a holy side, right? Which one is a holy site anyway? That's a holy site right here. Okay, let's just read it then. There's yet another Inquisitor. Close enough. Yeah, I think I can get rid of all of them. That should be doable. And if they send more, I can just hire more Inquisitors. No problem with that. We are about to finish the Eiffel Tower. That will indirectly increase my housing, because it improves appeal and the neighborhood districts get more housing when appeal is higher. Okay, get rid of that. And we can move into that tile, I guess. Just to pillage the district. There we go, that should be safe. And I think that's about it. Yeah, minus five oil per turn. I just need plastics and then it will be fine. Sucks that I got so little oil. That was really unlucky. I guess it wouldn't be a proper game if I didn't have some problems with at least one strategic resource. <laughs> it's tradition, apparently. I might lose an Inquisitor or two, but that's alright. We are getting 180 faith per turn. There's the Eiffel Tower. What can we build now? Yeah, let's grab a food market. Housing in here is still more than fine. So a food market will certainly be useful. Uh, let's back up with this dude and heal him up. And we can take out the Apostle. Nice. Okay. And I can probably take out this one. Yes, indeed. That leaves us with one more over there and one more to the west. Yep, that will not be a problem. Here you go. How's Chicago? Rebellion in five turns. I could capture it. Not sure if I want to bother. It only has two population. But it might spawn some units that might pillage my district. So I should probably actually move in that general direction. First, let's merge that artillery, shall we? Here, because it's using oil. Now we are at minus four. Hold on. What are the other two? The biplane is using one oil. What's the fourth unit that's using oil right now? I'm not even totally sure about that. I'm actually not sure what the fourth unit is, but okay. I suppose there is one somewhere. Oh, we even got a promotion from this. Nice. I'll take it, thanks. So now question is, do you want that coastal city or not? Let's grab another spy. Oh yeah, and the trade route should go to our great Zimbabwe city, for obvious reasons. A shipyard, yep, that's a no-brainer for more production. A sewer is not quite needed. I don't really have enough space for another district in here. I could 
harvest stone, but I don't necessarily want to do that. More amenities, can't go wrong with that. And I guess we can move into that city's range. It should be safe. I do, however, need some vision. Can anyone else move in? Sort of. Yeah, sort of, but not really. Oh yeah, this guy, wait, does this guy actually use oil? No, it's the upgraded version that will use oil. Which means I don't really want to upgrade him right now. Because that will make me consume even more oil. That is not what I want at the moment. We need more field cannons to get some field cannon armies. Let's just buy one. Yeah, 660 faith, that's actually kind of cheap. And I used all of my faith. You know, I might actually go for some more holy sites in my future games. Not necessarily in every single city, but this has been a very interesting game. It actually convinced me that it's not pointless building holy sites. Imagine that. It's not actually a useless district. Nobody could have seen that coming. Is anyone actually attacking Alexander right now? Who is he still at war with? He's at war with Dido and Teddy. He is not at war with the Mongols anymore. Okay, I don't need their help anyway. So, let's move in. I don't want to be in range just yet, but I need to have vision. Hold on. Okay, it kind of looked like it's still inside the fog, but it's not. Wait, this is really weird. What the heck, is that a bug? Let's hit this guy first. Why can I not attack anything? With my artillery, that is really weird. Oh, it didn't have the drone in range, whoops, my bad. I thought it was in range, but apparently not. There we go, now we can. And let's kill this guy. I'll take some damage from city bombardment, but that shouldn't really be a problem. We'll be fine. He only has one field cannon core, with like two thirds of his health left. Not exactly a threat, is it? No. So, more armies. There we go, there's another army. I should also get some pike and shot. I should actually upgrade these guys. Yes, certainly. And this one. We can use him for an army. There we go, I can just do that right away. And then we can upgrade him on the next turn. That's 310 gold to upgrade to AT crew. And that's with force modernization, right? Or rather, yeah, that's with force modernization. Another trade route? What's the best trade route we can actually get? I think we can trade with Persia. 28 gold per turn. 29, 31 with Teddy. Yeah, let's go for that one. And now I should spam a few research labs. So I suppose we'll do that. Anything else needed over here? Not a whole lot. Go get the antiquity sites. Alright then. So, heal up the Inquisitors. Yeah, we just need to be next to a holy site. And then they can heal up. Sounds good to me. He's actually attacking my encampment. How cute. It lost a grand total of two health. Oh no! There's rocketry. What's our actual highest production city right now? Let's take a look. I should have at least like two or three over 100 production. That was 84. 111. 108. Okay, so we have a city with 111 and a city with 108. That would be... Oh, and a city with 103. So this one, this one and our capital, I think. Yes. I guess we should build it in our capital then, because our capital is actually still growing quite quickly. And it has the most housing out of any city over here. 
There's another trade route. Let's send at least one to Persia. Like so. That's 170 gold per turn now. I am about to finish a spy in here. Problem with this city is that it doesn't really have enough space for more districts. This one kind of does. If I replace one of the farms. What's the most useless tile over here? Excellent question. Well, the desert, but that already has the aerodrome. I suppose the most useless tile is like this one. With free food, one production. I'm not even working that tile. Okay, let's build a spaceport over there. After the broadcast center. And we'll build one in our capital as well. And then I could still build a third one. I will get a research lab first, because that's only four turns. For food. I kind of want food, but we are getting 26 food already. I think it's fine to build it over here. It should be okay. I'm not willing to remove production. I'm definitely not doing that. Okay, sure. Does this city actually have the space for a spaceport? No, not really. I would have to remove the forest and the lumber mill. I'm not quite willing to do that. No, I'm not willing to do that. There's another pike and shot. So that's another army. Oh wait, that was a core. Right, okay. And another upgrade. Oh, never mind. That used all the movement. So, back to Alexander. Let's see how quickly I can take that city. I can almost take it right now. I can take it right now. It seems like it. More era score. I might actually get a golden age. We are pretty close. And now we can peace out. I don't want to be the one to wipe him out. This city might actually rebel anyway. And then I can capture it. That's probably the best way to do it. So let's see what he's going to give us. If he actually has anything left. He has some gold. Oh, he will not give me any gold. Okay. Not even 10 gold? Not even 10 gold. Fine, we'll just peace out anyway. Because there's no need to stay at war with him. Now we could go towards Chicago. Because it will rebel in three turns. And maybe keep a few units over here. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.